Hiya, my name is Kira Barrett. I'm the facilitator of film workshops here at the Dingle Hub. I'm so excited to welcome you to the special showcase screening and world premiere of selected short films uh, made by past participants of the workshops we've held here to date, Principles of Film and Tunskul Nasgananiachta Tri Gaelga. I'm also very excited to announce that starting this year, we will be launching a 20 week course in Principles of Film which is designed to foster creative talent and provi help provide jobs for people in the area in screen and media production. These workshops have been facilitated by the Dingle Hub and Ali Nagwaltakta and going forward by the Dingle Whiskey International Film Festival. And we are so excited to see what talent this town continues to offer. Hello, my name is Mark McLaughlin, documentary film director from award-winning production company Bang Bang Cho. I'll be working on the more practical aspects of this course, uh, sharing my experiences in camera, sound, editing and lighting. Uh, we've had a great two years of courses to date um, and some fantastic results who so are really working on nurturing filmmaking in the, the Dingle and wider community. Uh, we're working in collaboration with the new Dingle Whiskey International Film Festival. So moving forward, uh, we hope to build a really, really strong connection there. Hi there, I'm Roz Hubbard and I'm a casting director and I am a lucky old lamb in that I live in Dingle, County Kerry. And also happening in Dingle, County Kerry is a new form of education for film. A wonderful course is starting here, which is sponsored and helped by the Dingle Whiskey International Film Festival. And the Hub, which is a local genius spot in this little town, um, is also supporting and subsidising this festival and this course. So thank God we're able to loop in the much talent of the young Irish and the older Irish who may want to learn about filmmaking. South of Dingle Harbour sits Isk Tower, reached by a short hike up Carhu Hill. The 600-foot summit offers spectacular views of the Dingle and Ivara peninsulas. The 40-foot, solid stone beacon with wooden hand projecting from it was constructed in 1847 as a famine relief project to guide boats into the blind mouth of Dingle Harbour. During World War II, the concrete lookout post was manned by local volunteers briefing the local Gartha station by a specially installed telephone. A wooden Christian cross was erected in December 1950, but succumbed to rough weather by Christmas the same year. The concrete base is all that remains today. Ireland's highest mountain, Carinthuhill, is visible to the south across Dingle Bay. To the west, there are panoramic views over Ventry Harbour, to Mount Eagle, Slayhead, and the Blasket Islands beyond. Mount Brandon, Ireland's second highest mountain, can be seen in the distance behind Dingle Harbour. Isk Tower is a memorable place to visit. 
make time to come and see for yourself. in a straight line after all. I took my time after the fall. I was in a race, you see, to find my place, get underway, reach the finish line, be feeling fine, and do it all again tomorrow. Feeling trapped, I couldn't choose. In those four walls, I knew I'd lose. And though it's dark in there, I knew that place, I knew my fear. It wrapped me up, it kept me cold. I befriended sorrow. And now you've shown me what it is and who I am. I'm held and free. And I love because I can. And you taught me that all I had to do was breathe. You hold me and everything I am. As I was looking into your eyes, I got scared they'd suck me in. I couldn't sense a trace of fear. I had my doubts. Still I let you near. And you picked me up and I breathed you in. And the lie began to hollow. A new place with an old face. Telling me things I already know. In the old days, at a fast pace. This is a place I never would go. And now you've shown me what it is and who I am. I'm held and I'm free. And I love because I can. And you taught me that all I had to do was breathe. And you hold me. And everything I am.
Let's go. Three, five, we'll go Rana. Kurig, Shay, Kobonte, Shark, Oct, Shalavan, Bok, Nay, Der, Ishtate. My name is Matthew Knight and I'm an associate librarian here at the University of South Florida and I'm also affiliate faculty in the history department where I teach courses in the Irish in America, Irish rebels and revolutionaries, and I teach an internship uh, class as well. So why Irish at USF and what brought me uh, into that field? It's a long story. So uh, I always knew that I was adopted. since. 1967, I'd been told that uh, I was from an adopted family, but I never knew uh, my background. And when I was about 17 or 18, I found out that there was a little card that came with me from the orphanage in Rockville, Maryland, that said that my parents were both born in Baltimore, Ireland, uh, the southernmost town on the island, uh, and came over when they were 16 and 17 and gave me up for adoption. So I found that out just before I went to university, and I had really passionate, uh, when I got to university, I started to take courses on James Joyce, uh, followed my passion to Flann O'Brien and Samuel Beckett. At the same time as my interest in Irish was growing because I'd learned about my family background. So here we are in USF Special Collections. And when I started here in 2013, as the head of the department, I did what every reasonable person would do, I immediately searched to find out what was related to Irish studies in the department. <laughs> and it turns out we have the collection of Dion Boussico, uh, the most prolific and popular playwright of Victor Victorian age. 
Most people have not heard of Dion Boussico. Born in Dublin, we have his papers, fantastic. So I've done a lot of work with Boussico, but we also had about 75 books that have been donated by Francis John Thompson. He was a professor at the University of Tampa. You can see here, he had some uh, real treasures that he got when he was researching his dissertation in the late 30s in Ireland. Uh, he visited with William Butler Yeats and became good friends with the Yeats family. And there's an autographed copy of one of his books of poems. And when I first got here, that was not noted in the catalog. <laughs> so I, I had to quickly let everybody know that you might want to say that this uh, already rare book is actually signed by William Butler Yeats. Uh, so this was a part of the Thompson collection, and we uh, developed over the years uh, with those donations from Krauss, with donations from other members of the local Ancient Order of Hibernians, uh, some collections that also have uh, signatures here. You can see the fierce caustic Fenian Jeremiah O'Donovan Rasa signed this book in Irish and English. Uh, this was his um, prison diary that became famous the world over in Irish, in Ireland and in Irish America. And some other books in Irish that came from the Michael Krauss collection, uh, on shock from the early part of the 20th century, some other Irish language books that are some quite rare, including the, the music and dance of Ireland uh, and songs from Galway and Mayo, Irish book lover, uh, the County Louth Archaeological Journal. We have a full run of that uh, given to us by Pat Garland, one of the AOH members, a wonderful edition. Uh, the Irish Review, uh, uh, a publication that Patrick Pierce and other members of the Military Council of the IRB published in before the Easter Rising, and a study here uh, on Scottish Gaelic and Irish. So this is just a sample of some of the wide array of collections we have here uh, in the department. So from those 75 books uh, initially to well over 1700, we are in position now to have one of the best collections in the southern uh, states. We now already have the best collection of Irish studies material in the southeastern United States, which is pretty good when you consider that in 2013 there were less than 100 books in the collection. So we're extremely proud of that, and we're extremely proud that the Irish language is well represented in these books and will soon be in the curriculum. So when I did find out um, that I was of Irish birth, and my parents had come over to, to uh, give birth to me in the U.S., but they came from a uh, Baltimore town. I went back to visit in 1994. I spent nine months just traveling around backpacking through Ireland, back in the days where you could hitchhike safely. In fact, you couldn't say no to a ride. Everybody would insist. It was a wonderful trip. And when I got to Baltimore, I was surprised to see the flag of Maryland behind one of the three pubs in town. In fact, there wasn't much to the town back then than three pubs and, a, and, a, uh, and one grocery store slash uh, post office. And I said, you know, that's where I was born and my parents came from, from Baltimore. And the bartender basically stopped the music that was playing, made the announcement that one of their own was back in town, and they made the biggest fuss that I've ever seen and will ever see uh, over me, <laughs> of all things. And we spent eight hours just talking, carousing. Theories were there. Oh, of course, you're a Flynn from Skibbereen. And no, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. He's right from in town. And he's, and he's one of, uh, I can't remember some of the other names were thrown around. Flynn was thrown around about three times. So who knows? But after that night, I had such a sense of satisfaction and welcoming. And I will never know the names of my parents. I've I'm at peace with that now. But that night made me feel like I was a part of that town. I was a part of that area. I would, the heritage um, mattered more to me in that experience than walking through graveyards for 20 years, trying to figure things out, going through uh, records offices. I don't need to do that. I, I'm at peace with who I am and my heritage and the wonderful people of that. So it's been a long journey uh, with me finding out about my Irish heritage, following my love of the literature and into the language. Uh, but I feel tremendously fulfilled that though I've never learned and will never learn the surname of either my 
uh, Irish mother or my Irish father. By the way, I was accepted in the town of Baltimore when I went to visit as not a visitor with a funny story, but as someone who was returning home. It was one of the most amazing nights of my life. And now that I have been more and more immersed in the culture, in the language, in the literature for decades since then, I feel at home. I feel like the passion that was awakened by finding out uh, where I came from has really enriched uh, my life, my studies, um, and it will be my research and my passion moving forward. Would I have gotten here without finding that out? I don't know. But I feel that the knowledge that the, the Irish history that flows within me is now in some way uh, being shared with the world, it, it, it makes me feel very satisfied every time an article is published or a dissertation is accepted. <laughs> town took that took that need to search out of my out of my life I'm I've I found it Abhan ar sa alih mishe ni rev e gieska cha ere male a kupla mai vod biog, kupla shanta ni. Vargit na e vod gibe hevod na fedim talu. E smol lorog e vech e ge balort ta mech ta me fagam a chen ieskig na fardre f shaska akri. Dine när vi sked när Marie hugt i den halva rinke. När vi kände oss nära vågor då låg i hittades han. Vi kände oss tysk. Sabor i lana hig. Och vi kände oss då låg jag tjej som då var jag. Och det är det som jag bedjer dig hänga jag i hittade då nåt. Och vi kände rinke och vi kände oss typ den här. Och min jag kom jag nära vågor tack och tack och lära isk. Jag kände dig i fågen till tid tårne. Fara vågor och de ser den brigger i hår och kallin egen. Här är det skits och kej. Jag ska inte skott på mig kräv. Han ska bli det som är bra med. Han ska säga. Här är det skits och kej. Tjena Marinke. Kan jag inte ta så? Ja. Jag ska det. Jag ska fråga. Ta ål och jag ska röra dig i mannen av ålogen. Och fär mig här igen. Vi må ha krigen og gæske, og det er så ærskjent. Vi må ha det gæske. Og nå er det få sted, så har jeg ikke hatt studere på det. Men så vil det prøve det sakke pæsje. Og det er med varen, så jeg skriver her til fader i. Så jeg liker sin, og det er grobe og stikk så varen gikk. Aber så lige nog voor een drankje. Anders nog een vaak kerst, dan hadden we daar om nooit tig. Kost van daar om hoe de eigen ter meiden. Anders daar om oog nooit gol. Ik heb van dat we haar kapper is gezien. Zo wel men. Zo ik zeg je moet ik daar in geen die onderhoud. Ina mae hyd loch oes ymach yn cyhoed hyn. Os yna i fwyg, nos o chorwch, ta bi'ch siol bi'ch gwych gwych. Ta tochtu, chi'n gymach siol o'n. Ac yn ffyrn y lad na mae hyn soos y tig tarn, ni'n cael y gol gwych 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 gwych. Ac hyn lys y sys, ac ys hwys y bawl, hyn ffyrn siol. Ac ys 
Nere kom in maak de barge boer, nie maak roade, geel om geen verke. Maar wie moet groep hebben begossen? De viskiet. Ach, wie zeg je er al aan? Ach, wie zeg je al ik toch hier gedaan waar? Het is morfie, nu dalen de marie ook hier. Ach, wat zeg je zo? Het is allemaal te dalen de marie, dat is die bravaar die in die. Ach, het is ver... Ik heb het gegeven dat ik aan het zien wil. Ik ben het al gemaakt als ik het zelf kan. Verschingelen we. Zo niet weer een broer gebouwd. Verschingelen we een beetje hard. Hier in de manier. En als we snel gaan, we gaan een pot tegen. Als ik een pot te schieten, kan ik niet naar voren gaan. Als ik een mooie met een pot te kloeden heb, en om te laaien, en ik een vermen, dan ga ik ze niet rijden. Als ik ze raad, dan heb ik een laaien, een koelige laaien, een klei. Dan heb ik een laaien, een koel, een klei. Ik ga niet naar voren gaan, want ik ga een pot te doen. Ik ga niet naar voren gaan. Maar voor de rest, voor de rest, voor de rest, voor de rest, Sklávy pít. Vem. Níl vérná hegyes én gáfjú díl volna hátránom. Tugan an timirca chardvala da chuanar na canna san aran múrle rásin o irhar rínach, ilan rún an oed. Ta an mulla san tíilte ga maghig na trán a oile o veal bán, cúl dorcha, tráig an ierna, trán a mwyddi, trá vala na ngául agus tráig an dúin ígin féifan túr vala rá. Ta a sánachas agus a skéil ta féin ag ach tráig agus ag ach bala fedan. Oan gloch oem ag bala an ránig, but the antenna vanished to the temple born, and his own slad a horl a gdun an oed, but the illumit skilta fuin ling shoidacht, and his fin eeskach a gus gnosach famine sa nai voig.
Well, the lay of honor down for just the corner of the time. Now back as a pesca. A huge fair, but a poor valor, not preening. Slave another, two of war. I was on two sticks of horn. I guess come again, go a big chat to me. This greeting though, not being here, mother, not on rear, mach and quant. But two stones of old. My beam, she left table and my paddle board. I guess also the money going to solve all the money. I just told the grand soldier. Come, we can go all the way in the mech. So, didn't even round. Tame my Havan and Rami, Carrie Greener. I can team pull the trying the Maria. The queen to Valen and Owl. I guess Tame Tustin's son. The bean year mother. A brash and ten nine shit. Maybe in the way the beam in the gum. But she had them some go. We are born. We are the men of the sun. We are going to trust no pretty, no good to do. Our queen, hold her up. Our man Rani, our spade is going to go back and get all the rest. Our trust no shine no more. Rest. Right, yeah. Good night. You know I'm home again. You never win no more. Yeah. Stick to one. Let's go, let's move on.